We were all familiar with the formula for determining the roots of a quadratic expression, that is, minus b plus or minus the root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. However, what happens when we deal with a more complicated polynomial or a function containing logarithmic or trigonometric terms? Newton's method is a method for finding successively better approximations to the roots of a real valued function. So given a function f of x and an initial guess x0, successive approximations can be conducted using the formula xn plus 1 equals x of n minus fx of n over f dash of x of n, where n is the current iteration. The approach we will use is as follows. Firstly, we will explicitly write out the function in the form f of x equals, and then determine its derivative f dash of x. Then given the initial estimate x0, we can determine f of x0 and f dash of x0, and hence evaluate x1 using x1 equals x0 minus f of x0 over f dash of x0. Then we repeat step 2, using xn plus 1 equals xn minus f of xn over f dash of xn, until the satisfactory number of iterations or level of accuracy has been achieved. So let's find a root of e to the minus x equals x squared to 7 decimal places using Newton's method with the initial guess x0 equals 0. So firstly we need to come up with our function f of x. And in this case we can say that f of x equals x squared minus e to the minus x. Note that it wouldn't have made a difference if we had written it as e to the minus x minus x squared as we would still get the same answer. Now if we differentiate this, we'll get f dash of x equals 2x plus e to the minus x. So now, on our first iteration, we can find f of x0 and f dash of x0. So f of x0 equals x0 squared minus e to the minus x0. So 0 to be squared minus e to the minus 0. Simply 0 minus e to the 0. So 0 minus 1, or simply minus 1. And now f dash of x0 equals 2 by x0 plus e to the minus x0. So 2 by 0 plus e to the minus 0. So 0 plus 1, or simply 1. Now x1 equals x0 minus f of x0 all over f dash of x0, so 0 minus minus 1 over 1, so 0 plus 1, or simply 1. So our new estimate for the root is x equals 1, and we have now finished the first iteration. So now on the second iteration, this time f of x1 is equal to x1 squared minus e to the minus x1. So 1 to be squared minus e to the minus 1. Or 1 minus e to the minus 1. While f dash of x1 is equal to 2 by x1 plus e to the minus x1. So 2 by 1 plus e to the minus 1. So 2 plus e to the minus 1. And now x2 equals x1 minus f of x1 over f dash of x1. So 1 minus 1 minus e to the minus 1 over 2 plus e to the minus 1. And if we calculate this out, we get 0 0.733043605. So we have now found that the new approximation to our root is 0 0.733043605. So we started off with a guess of 0, got a new approximation of 1, and now have an approximation of 0 0.733. If we do another iteration using the exact same approach, we then get an answer of 0 0.7038070786. So as you can notice, we now have the root correct to one decimal place, 0 0.7. If we now do another iteration, we get an answer of 0.7034674468. Now you can see we have the root correct to three decimal places. And finally, if we do one more root, we get the answer 0 0.7034674422. And now you can see we have the root correct to seven decimal places.
So a root of the equation e to the minus x equals x squared to seven decimal places is 0 0.703 four six seven four.